Two massive earthquakes in April and May last year shook Nepal, the country that traditionally provides legendary Gorkha soldiers for the British Army. Nearly 9,000 people lost their lives in these natural disasters. The epicenter of the first earthquake, measuring 7.8 on Richter scale, was a remote village of Barpak in Gorkha district, where almost 460 people were killed. Nine months on, ex-Gurkhas and villagers in Barpak and surrounding areas are still struggling to make their lives normal. It is estimated that around 1,140 former British Army Gurkhas and their families are facing a kind of humanitarian crisis created by the earthquake. British Army welfare pensioner in his 70s, Palton, and his wife are concerned that they may have to spend this entire winter in the makeshift camp. Palton's wife, Buduni, looks more worried about her granddaughter. The earthquake completely destroyed many small houses in these villages. As most of the villagers do not have their own land, they have been living in temporary makeshift shelters made from plastic sheeting and tarpaulins. 90-year-old Dudmaya Ghale, another British pensioner in Barpak, cannot say whether she will be able to move to her own warm house someday. <laughs> The government of Nepal, Gorkha Welfare Trust and several national and international organizations have provided assistance from time to time. Gorkha Welfare Trust and several national and international organizations have provided assistance from time to time. Gorkha Welfare the crisis is so deep-rooted that not enough has been done. Organizations working in the field say that long-term strategy is required. Housing need and health facilities must be addressed immediately. Prativa Raut, a representative of people in need, has been working in Laprak since the last 40 days. Oil is some of Ramar Sangha but permanent shelters or construct bats. I know I know the main problem one good of a gorko comira wash go. Many organizations have distributed food, clothes, and medicine. Temporary shelters can also be seen. The Ministry of Agriculture estimates that 48,000 families from the earthquake affected districts are in danger of hunger. Recently, the National Reconstruction Authority launched a mega campaign for the reconstruction of earthquake ravaged infrastructures. But the actual work is to start only after three months. So, it is likely that the victims will have to endure this whole winter mostly on their own, shivering in their temporary shelter, waiting for the sun.